Hello, chefs. What are we doing today? Um, it's Papa. Papa's gonna make some bacon cheeseburger tacos. Right now, I'm cooking the hamburger. Uh, you guys should know how I cook my hamburger. If it's sausage, hamburger, and I beef base, black pepper, wood fire, gar Kinder's wood fire garlic, and um, black pepper. You guys see me make that many times. Um, as of right now, I'm cooking bacon, pork too, and then I'll be showing you the rest in a second. So if you see me getting up and down, I'm doing something real quick. And yes, uh, yesterday my dad had this procedure on his heart, and uh, it went through well, but today I talked to him, he just didn't sound like himself. So. He sounded awful. Yeah, so he's supposed to call me later, and let me know how he feels better after he takes his nap. Um, but everything he went through well on the procedure. Very high risk procedure. Hi guys. There's mama. I'm just working on the meat and stuff so I can get it in there. That's what I'm doing right now. Sorry guys, I'm looking for something. So this is why you see me moving around, moving around. Because I'm trying to do I need to do real quick and once we get that done I'll show you how to make them. It's pretty easy. Found what I'm looking for people. Okay. They got some more. Papa's been in the zombie movie mood. Man, like zombies? You guys like zombie movies? I like zombie movies. Earlier, he thought he had a zombie movie and it turned into being a stupid alien movie. I mean, it was stupid. They just don't know. They just don't know how to put good movies on anymore. Seems like. Seems like all it is is stupid movies. I'm doing some cleaning is what I'm doing. 
sorry I ain't talking that much. My mind's focused. I'm trying to take down. And that's how he gets. He gets real focused. Just like me, I get focused when I'm doing my cleaning. Somebody said they would like to see more of what I do. And this is what I do before the videos. I try to get things done before I fit the video on. So it won't be so long on you guys. Some of this stuff takes a while to do. Yeah, it does. Stuff, trying to get it ready. And that's what I'm doing right now. Sorry, guys. But I wanted to show you guys uh, a little bit of the background of what I do before I get the video started again. This is what I do. There we go. Okay. Taco shells right there. Sheet pan there. Move that over there. You need to move the camera back or something? Nah. Okay. That down there. almost done and then we'll do the I don't think so. Okay. I think I'm going to block you. I think there's 
I think they're still on the counter, but I'm not real sure, honey. How many, how many of you have pet names for your significant other? <laughs> on Papa's phone, and I kid you not, it doesn't have my real name above my phone number. It says Sexy Mama. I had his phone one day, and I was to call him, so I'm going through. I'm like, who the heck is Sexy Mama? So I seen the phone number, and I'm like, oh, my God, really? I could have killed him, but I didn't. And it's real funny when we're in the grocery store and I'm not in the same aisle as him. He'll go, Mama, where you at? And all these old ladies are looking at him. <laughs> it's quite funny. Because I'll hear him say, Mama, and I'll come around the corner wherever I'm at. And they're just staring at him like, who are you talking to? You get the cheese knife over there. Still. Oh, I gotta get it out of the door. Ah, oh, those are These are antique. Yep. Just wanna get you some melted cheese, guys. Good melted cheese. If you haven't seen, we like the antique stuff. Last or longer? Yes. Sorry, I, I apologize. Here, I got a question for you all. If you have pets, mm -hmm. does any of your guys' pets wake up from a bad dream and cry to you and come and wake you up and <laughs> cuddle up with them? I just thought it was funny just to ask that because my dog, when she has a bad dream, she wakes me up <laughs> to cuddle up to her. Ribby to be do. She will, she'll wake me up. Daddy, come and make me feel better. Mm hmm. I think that'd be enough. I think. Sit that off to the side for now. Ruby, she's got a really bad itch on her butt, so I've been taking care of it. And she don't like her butt messed with. She's even got some of the fur on the underside of her tail gone from rubbing it on the floor. Scraping it across the floor. No, it ain't from her glands. I've already looked. I do squeeze them if they need it. So you just want to get you some bacon? Right, you know, a little bit the way you like it. Mm -hmm. Got it down in little strips. Little tiny I, bites. I like my crispy. He likes it a little crispy. Little man, little man likes it medium. No, basically not done. Like me. You put a little crunch to yours. He don't want no crunch to his. He likes feeling the juiciness of it. He says. The way he like the little man likes it, it's like chewing gum. I'll get in a second. On the seventh, after we're done shopping and we bring the groceries in, um, we're gonna try. And videotape everything that we bought. 
Try. I say, yeah, that's the key word. Try. We got a lot on our mind that day when we're doing stuff like that. Yeah. Usually we're focused on let's get the cold stuff put away now. We don't like leaving that out too long. No, but we do take a cooler, big cooler, our big one, our big green one, and put it in the back of the van, and we store the cool stuff in it because we go to multiple stores and it does keep it cold. Yeah. So I recommend in the summertime when it's hot, keep a cooler in your back of your vehicle. It's the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get on this video. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh oh, they're gonna be asking to change this. They're just gonna have to wait. Actually, you can have Uncle Hillbilly put that one thing on the TV and see if it works. No, I just jinked. It's Little Man being hyper. There you go. So they quiet in there. Little Man's not going to be quiet. I don't know what movie it is. I do fit. That's pretty bad, huh? Okay. So, let's get on with the video. Here's another question for you guys. Who do you think is the best phone company or whatever you call it? Right now, we're with Cricket and we're unhappy. We're very unhappy. So, we're going to put the bacon in first. Get a little bit of meat. Oops, sorry, really, there you go. Because you want to bake these a little bit so the cheese them out. So please put your recommendations down below. They will all be considered. Right, Papa? Yep. Put your piece of cheese in there, just like that. Sorry, I gotta wipe my hand off. This thing. What? Apologize, guys. I'm doing something. I'm trying to. That's short films. See if you can find that new Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's do this. I'll be right back in a few minutes so I can help them out. I apologize to you guys. I'll be right back. Sorry, y'all. If Little Man doesn't have something in there watching... He gets hyped. Mm -hmm. And he bugs Uncle Hibba. He jumps on him and punches him and everything. And we try to stop it. And the only way to stop him is by putting the movie on. It keeps him calm. So, I apologize to you all. If you know a kid that has a hyper disorder, ADHD or ADD. You know what we're going through. Some kids, the only way to keep them calm on that is by putting a movie on. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does know better when it comes to punching people, but the ADHD does take over. He is on medication, but that can only do so much. Yes, we have talked to the doctor about it. Yes. But on, the, on a good note, his football starts in two days. So that'll calm him down some. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to sit there and watch him practice. 
We like watching the practices. Mm -hmm. Now I don't. I don't know if their plays are going to be different or the same. I don't know. Yeah. It's just one of those things we're not going to know until he starts. And the videos are going to be a little bit later on in the day too, because. Unless I do a crock pot dinner that night or something, then the video will be, you know, different time. Yes, I'm using hamburger to hold it up. Because <laughs> his practices are from 3.30 in the evening until 5 p.m. in the evening. So. I kind of hope on Mondays when he gets his uniforms and stuff, but... What it is, we're so used to the junior maroons. Yeah. We're not <laughs> used to the other football yet. This year is our first year with junior high football. Yeah. So. And the special education students up here um, that are like with mental, uh, that are mentally handicapped, they got a special football program for them. It's Special Olympics football. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm hmm. And no, we could not put Sissy in that if we wanted to. She might. <laughs> she might break somebody's leg, I'm being honest with you guys. Her temper is so... So wild. But well, we love her. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying her temper is so wild. If she gets, when she gets mad, she gets mad. I thought when I was growing up, I had a very bad temper, but she makes mine look mellow. When I was growing up. I mean... Yeah, I knew my mom had a handful. Yeah. Hers are just... And we are trying to get her into a therapist to help her out. And we're trying to do it in a school setting. It's just getting the ball rolling on it. Oh. There we go. It's wonderful. It's starting to get smaller for me. These up here, this out of the way. But I'll tell you what, when they went to uh, Rock Island County School District, Rock Island County School District does not care about the special ed kids. No, they don't. They just push them on through. They don't care if they learn anything or not. And that's what Sage's problem is. She went to Rock Island School District for a while. Remy, it's enough, please. Thank you. You didn't have the babysitter, so she had to take her to her uh, IEP meetings, and they overheard the teacher saying, well, she's only got the mental capacity of a three-year-old or kindergartner or whatever, you know? No, I know she has has it of the actual grade she's in, but she's heard it for so long, she has it stuck in her head. And that's what Rock Island School District mm -hmm. did. They didn't have no respect for the student. No. And I'm telling you right now, your kids um, is in... Uh, hamburger for our honey. In that school district, I apologize. Yeah. I just don't care for Rock Island School District. Oh, well, her school didn't like me. On the first first IEP I went to of hers, they started talking down about her. And that's when I looked at them and I said, that's it. I'm taking her out of this school and I will homeschool her. Well, she's not your child. I said, not biologically, no. But by marriage, she is. So, no, you're not going to talk about my child like that. She may appear to only have the mentality of a certain grade level because you guys never pushed her. You never pushed her to the to the point to where she can prove exactly what she can do. And Moline High or Moline Junior High thought they could do the same thing. 
I advocated for her there. I'm advocating for her at the, at the high school level. I will always advocate for her. I'll always advocate for James. Like they say, mom knows best. We both did special education when we were in school. And like we tell the kids, don't let it define you. You define it. Yeah. Here. You can laugh about this. I went to college. <laughs> I did too. I was trying to become an RN, but there was one class I could not I could not get through it. But I have a niece that's going through the RN program that I went through. She'll do it. My first year doing the class I couldn't pass, we had a ice storm go through. So I get couldn't get my term paper turned in on time. And it was on serial killers, and we had to pick one to write the paper about. I had it done, had it printed out. I just couldn't get into town to turn it in. And she wouldn't take it. And the counselor that I had at the uh, college level, he tried to talk her into, just go ahead and take it, grade it. Yeah, it's late. She goes, well, I extended it. Well, when you have no power, you ain't going to know that the teacher extended it. When you ain't got a vehicle that's very good driving on ice, you ain't going to get it there. So, okay. And it was um, psychology. I could not pass psychology. It was hard. But I wasn't the only person that had a problem with our my teacher my first year. There was a lot of the other kids in my class had a problem with her, too. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, I'm going to bake these. And when they get done, I'll come back and show you guys everything. Um, as of right now, that's what we got going on. And you're sitting here watching me. And I'm being mostly quiet, and I apologize. <laughs> about that but when i'm cooking my mind gets so focused i go in my own little world and if i'm blabbering on i'm sorry but it helps me where i don't have to talk this time mommy can talk this time even though you don't see the face no you just hear the the ugly voice i know people don't hear her talk very much but you know what it's nice that she's talking this time. Well, it seems like that every time I do talk, I get attacked in the comment section about me being rude or I'm condescending or, you know, it's always something not very nice. So that's the reason why she sits there and be quiet. Usually. But you know what? They hate comments. I'm telling you what. You got to get used to it when you're in YouTube. Yep. And anymore to me. You can hate on me all you want, but, you know, the man upstairs loved me more than you. That's how I put it. So, you know, I don't care. But I'm going to come back when these get done, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when they're done. How's that sound? So we'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Love you all. Peace. There you go, guys. Bacon cheese bread. Talk Cucumber salad. With ranch. Okay, everybody. Well, everybody's going to do the prayer real quick for y'all. Dear Lord, thank you for the food that I'm not from my family. Please, but I'm not that bad. So, Grandpa, please help. Uncle Dean, please help. Uncle Tommy. And please help our channel. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for the food that I'm not from my family. Please, but I'm not that bad. So, Grandpa, please help. Uncle Dean, please help. Uncle Tommy. And please help our channel. Amen. Thank you, little hillbilly. Amen to you. Okay, so, <clears throat> everybody, I'm sorry the video's been jumped around here and there. But that's the way it is with the log. It's our logs. It's our normal day life. And this is, it should have been a recipe video because it's so beautiful. I'll have Mom Pit bacon cheeseburger tacos log, log video. I don't know. It's whatever she wants to do. But we appreciate you all down below as Amazon Wishes are joining our channel. It's up to you. Subscribe, like, share us out. If you ain't subscribed, please subscribe. We're a family friendly channel. You guys are more than welcome to come and enjoy our little adventures while we're doing these videos. So, y'all have a great day and God bless you all. Peace.